uh, exception. So if you uh, if you want to your chance at the last chance qualifier, if you want to earn your way into Smash Ultimate Summit 3, what was it by Beyond Summit? Uh, you need to be here. Yes. And in order to be here, you need to register. Yes. So follow us at 2G Gaming. Hit the bell notification. Look for the registration link and time and dates. And guess what? You, too, can earn your way into Smash Ultimate Summit 3. All right, enough about that. Kairos and Elegant. Wow. I can't believe we have Kairos and Elegant on the screen. Uh, yes, Kairos coming up from World 8. That is actually a very good uh, family-owned uh, shop of video game store here in Los Angeles, located around Koreatown. So if you guys ever wanted to buy and support, you know, your small shops, definitely support World 8. They're a venue that has helped out Kairos grow. And you know what? They've helped Kairos get here to lose their semi up against Elegant. 108, man, but Kairos has a lot to prove so far against Elegant. It is this young link. We'll see what he can do here as Elegant takes up a first lead here at 128. And of course, you know, Elegant, no stranger to the 2G gaming stream. You've seen him here many times. And I'm really glad that he's able to make it back here once again. Only 18%. Here we go. It is time to give him the show. Hit him with the showstopper. Oh, Kairos was able to escape. Oh, here we go. Round two. For Kairos, this is going to be a little bit of a different, too, because he wants to use a lot of Young League's main options to outlive and out outdo a character like Luigi. What a great Woo! boomerang at the forward there. Kairos demonstrates that kindly. Young Link has the speed, the projectiles, to be able to avoid a lot of Luigi shenanigans, and that's what he's going to have to do to be able to win this setup <laughs> against Elegant. Yeah, that setup was spicy for sure. And as you can see, he's already setting up his projectiles. But guess what? Elegant knows how to approach while throwing bomb buttons. He knows how to clash with these projectiles, oh. including using Invulnerable Tornado to his advantage. Uh, and guess what? He's got scooped up. Kairos. Kairos got scooped up. Oh, good spot dodge, because that would have been the show stunner for sure. I like that fire arrow setup. Even if it doesn't confirm, that goes to show that Kairos is kind of baiting out something from Reaction from Elegant, but also playing it safe. And like I said, if oh. you're a Young Link, you have to use Young Link's best strengths oh. to win against Luigi. Up that there? Oh, back. no. That dash back was so good from Elegant. And Elegant is on the chase now. Kairos getting stuck at the ledge one more time. Nearing from the ledge, escaping, fighting his way back. Oh, he missed the, the fair one conversion. That's so unfortunate. That would have been huge for Kairos. Oh, okay. All right, I see you, Kairos. Yeah, he gets an upbeat. Yeah. Always remember, Young Link will only get a second. Uh, actually, all the links will, uh, will only get a second hero spin if they're able to get from that bomb. But Kairos with a couple backers here. Okay. No. no, 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 Kairos, no. Yeah, no way. Not, 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 not at like 20. If he almost got it though, man, that critical hit was right there. They had me fooled. But not at 20. Yeah, man, yo, man. No I, way. I've seen some no moves do way. some stuff. No way. I, I would have called for so many nerfs. No. I would have been like, this is something else. What about one this, I'm, a, I'm about to clip this. Send it to Sakurai. Send it to Nintendo of America. Send it to Reggie. Send it to whoever we need to send it to if that works. Oh, Reggie doesn't but, even work in Nintendo. Oh, he got power. <laughs> Reggie got power. Don't even talk to me about Reggie. Yeah, that was no way that was going to work. <laughs> <laughs> elegant, up 1-0. <one> oh. <laughs> Armada Elegant, excuse me. Okay, here we are with the wrong guy. But you know what? I can't I can't fall for Kairos for doing it. Going for it. He definitely wanted to put on a show. He had a lot of people at the edge of, this, uh, at the edge of their seats. I mean, good on Kairos to understand the tech skill that it does take to use a character like Young Link. It, it is a lot of... Yes, you do have projectiles, you do have the speed, but the character does require some tech skill to be able to be at a level that you are here right now up against Elegant, and so far this time Kairos taking the first lead. Yeah, and as you can see, a much different start from here in Game 2 than we had in Game 1. Really, the explosive start from Elegant is so so characteristic of him that he really just gave him a lead, and uh, Kairos was just not able to make up the deficit. But here we are, you can see that Kairos has in fact adjusted to Elegant throwing out a lot of projectiles, making sure that they're at an angle or a timing where uh, Elegant will actually be whiffing his attacks. So look at that, going, having the arrow go right over the plunger, essentially nullifying it. Okay, but Elegant chopping his way back. Ooh, the back air one. I'm loving these like single hit uh, aerials from, from Kairos. Oh, no, check on the platform. Yeah, and that gives Elegant a quick little follow-up. Not that much, but you know the upper is the damage. Elegant is looking no dash tech that will actually could have killed. Yeah, honestly, like in that position, Ele Elegant was only really going to go for damage. If he wanted to, like, uh, oh, really gamble, he could have went for the up B. 
but really, as long as you're not at super high percent, then he's not going to cover your your ledge or your platform options with tornado. Ooh, get he's, chopped! No, he's good. He's good. He's, he's good. good. He's but is he good? Uh. Is he good, Vance? Vance, I'm asking you about your boy. Is he good? No, he's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was. He was. That was honestly, that was really close. That elegant knock off for the downer, but the out tilt will be swinging at 171 and good enough for Kairos to get the stock up against elegant. That's an up. You no opportunities to follow up. He's gonna be able to shield. di out though, so that 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 grab combo shouldn't do like too much damage. And as you can see, no, he was able to. No, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Take the control first. I like oh, that play. Oh, he's too low. Yeah, That's too low. Oh, oh man, I really feel like. Like, Kairos really wants to make these big plays, but it's just slight miscalculations that's causing him to lose stocks in unfortunate ways. And guess what? Elegant is willing to take those, all of those, to the bank. He'll cash them in, and he'll just be on his way. Okay, I was smash here to get Elegant. Small little jumper situation, just able to read the landing here by Elegant, able to get a full grab. Not a full combo, though. Uh, Kairos not too far behind here. If he can take the stock without taking unnecessary damage, he will find himself at pretty good pace to at least put a point on the board before Elegant can here. But Elegant has a lot to say. Yeah, oh, course, look, at the, look at the spacing that we see from between Elegant and Kairos. You can see that like Elegant is also like maintaining this area where he's out just outside of death attack range. But at the same time, he's like he needs to parry or he needs to clash with projectile before he can actually approach. But here we go on the. I on like the that reverse. What? Okay, that was sick, Kairos. You got him that time. But chasing with his own version of a spin attack. Oh, Elegant no. not able to get it. Nice. What? Just narrowly spaced the way to get avoided from the grab. Man, that was big for Kairos. Nonetheless, that could have been a death. Yeah, but cross up back. Sweet. And here we go. Elegant looking for his opportunity. Z drop. Wow, just needs threading the needle right around that bomb. And Kairos, while Elegant is on the chase, is able to continue to rack up damage forward oh, air. Two no. whips. Oh, no. That's all from the dropped second forward air. That hurts. Four, okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. That. But this, this is losers semis, meaning that this is in fact a best of five. So Cairo yeah. still has one more game to really, really make the adjustments to put Elegant on the edge and take and him. Yeah. And take and him, take him to like. And a, that, well, that's the thing game. about Youngling too. Even if he is missing a lot of these really big technical moves to hit against an opponent like Elegant, you have to go for him at some point, man. Rather you miss him or hit him, man. Those could be mean, certain life or death, certain lead or point for you. And Kairos, even though he missed him, I have to commend him for it, man. It's gonna be a little bit more practice, maybe when he gets back to the lab. But you know what? I gotta give a huge shout out for him to still go for it. He shows off really nicely with double back here into that dash attack. And he's got a small lead up against Elegant here. Very similar how game one went. But we'll see if this time Carlos will be the one taking the game. Yeah, of course, as you can see, Elegant is again on the chase. And I really can see that the adjustment from Kairos, he's understanding when Elegant's trying to go for these grabs and get these damage. Unfortunately, Rapid Jab on the shield is not what you want to do. But he is able to escape. Spin attack into up air. Ooh, he tried to end him. I see that. Nice. I like that how he jumps over the boomerang to see how Elegant is going to give chase. And that boomerang will cover that from that angle. So what Kairos has to do, play that distance game with Fire Arrow, but unfortunately Elegant able to close out. Gets the bomb for the deep recovery. He does, he does get another one if he gets the bomb, but unfortunately... Ooh, Kairos... <laughs> the down air stage bounce into Tornado. There was no hesitation, zero hesitation on the conversion that Elegant needed to use. Yeah, and that was good understanding, man. Elegant actually saw how Kairos was going to overcome him with that hero spin of the smash, man. Get that man off your face. You know, Kairos is looking for an opportunity. He's been so close to closing out a game here, but this is going to be do or die, clutch or kick for Kairos. Honestly, as long as he sticks to his game plan and pulls the trigger on that clutch moment, Ugh. then he may, in fact, take a game. But wow, just so unfortunate. Just getting the hero spin on Elegant's shield. Of course, he's going to use the sweet spot up B, put on a ton of damage, and also uh, maybe even a little bit of mental damage. We're going to see another one? Okay. That's going to be a back air? Yeah. That's good for Kairos to connect those back airs. Get that forward air in. Don't do it. No, he's waiting. He's waiting. Don't do it. I like it. He sees how he forced <laughs> Elegant to go for that low recovery, and that's a forward to get him back off the stage. Don't do it. Don't do it. Kairos <laughs> making some small plays, but I like that he's changing his tech skill here. Oh. He is going for the stage options here. No back air, but the reverse upbeat almost catching Elegant. I commend Kairos for actually like trying to go on stage and edgeguard Elegant. Oh, he most, knows. He knows. Most, uh, most Luigi's... Um, 
Or most players won't necessarily do that against Luigi just because uh, they're so afraid of the coin game. But yeah, you gotta go for it whenever you can. Yeah, you cannot lose an edge guard opportunity where you know you could probably get the stock here. But unfortunately, mm. Elegant holding that shield and Ooh. seeing that down oh, there. Oh, three taunts, four taunts. Elegant is styling on him with the D-pad. Oh, nice. He wanted to wait had to see how Elegant would land, but that down there from Elegant. Wow, that angle was actually oh. really well. Did we see more taunts from Kairos? What the heck? <laughs> you know, taking a page from his good buddy, Marvelous Marco. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at those spins. Spins. <laughs> the crowd is kind of gathered around here to see who's going to win. Elegant able to get the, the cycle here. Kairos has Elegant at 143. Oh, Smash will do it. Finally, oh, Kairos oh, has a chance. Oh, oh, dance on him. Dance on him. Both players dancing. Okay, that's oh, a good, really good. unhealthy I like, shield. I like that. He sees the cross up, tries to get a punish on that one. Okay, it's going to be a back air? Yeah, and that's a combo to get him off the stage. Good play from Kairos. Yeah, but recovering low. Kairos not exactly going to be able to get much for it. After, after oh. from the ledge, he's retreating back to center stage. And here we go, setting up the projectile game, forcing Elegant to approach. And Oh, I like the B reverse with the arrows. Okay, here we go. Up B? No. Nice. Kairos is going to have to be able to go, go back to that. I like that. He has to stick to that projectile game here. If he gets something from Elegant, missed forward air, but Elegant tries to go for the one-two grab. Kairos knows I got to move away as soon as possible until I can get my pick. Okay. Rolling all around the stage using the t invulnerability of the tornado to eat up some projectiles and still approach and get a hit. Here we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. dancing, dancing, dancing. More dancing. No, no, yeah. What a call out, too, because he knew all he had to do was hold the shield, and at worst, he would get hit by the bar, and that would still give Elegant time to react mm -hmm, as Carlos mm -hmm. came back on the stage. Yes, Quick yes. decision making, indeed. That's a 3 0. I. It's unfortunate that we saw Kairos kind of go out like the the way he did. I mean, we saw two SDs, one in game one, one in game two. Mm -hmm. 